Grandfather Mohammed's Mathematical Adventures, A Legacy of Learning, The Tale of the Enchanted Island. One day, Grandfather Mohammed sat with his grandson Yusuf and granddaughter Sarah in their lush garden, where flowers bloomed and birds chirped. Yusuf and Sarah were struggling with the concept of fractions in their math class. Noticing this, Grandfather Mohammed decided to tell them a story that would help them understand fractions in a simple and enjoyable way. He began, in a faraway land, there was an enchanted island divided into four equal parts. Each part was ruled by one of the kings. One day, the kings decided to celebrate a grand festival. However, to make the festival successful, they had to collect fruits from each part of the island, in equal proportions to share with people from other islands. Here, my dears, the island is divided into four parts, representing the fraction a quarter. If each king contributes fruits for the festival, he gives a quarter of what he has. When the fruits from all four parts are combined, we get the whole one four plus plus one four plus plus one four plus plus one four equals equals one. Meaning all the fruits on the island have been gathered for the festival. Yusuf and Sarah listened intently, imagining the enchanted island and the four kings. After the story, Grandfather Mohammed explained, just like the fruits from each part were combined to make the whole, fractions work in the same way. Fractions are parts of a whole. Following the story, Yusuf and Sarah began to understand fractions better, relating the tale of the enchanted island to their math lessons. The Tale of the Wondrous Race Grandfather Mohammed used similar stories to teach other math lessons. Each story was a new adventure with a valuable lesson that was easy for the children to understand and remember. Once, he decided to teach them about multiplication and division through a thrilling tale of a peculiar race. In our village, he said, there was an annual race where all villagers participated. The race included solving a puzzle that required participants to divide themselves into equal teams to cross a river using a small boat that only held a specific number of people. He continued, participants had to form teams of four, as the boat could only carry four. If there were twenty participants, how many teams could be formed? Quickly, Yusuf and Sarah realized the answer was five teams twenty-four equals equals five. Then, Grandfather Mohammed added, if each team brought back four fruits from the other side of the river, how many fruits would they bring back in total? Excitedly, the children used multiplication to find the answer. Twenty fruits, five four equals equals twenty. In this way, Grandfather Mohammed explained multiplication and division, interactively and entertainingly, making the children learn while enjoying the stories.